after more than 40 years in the department that Minneapolis fire chief is ready for retirement. On Monday, Chief John Friedel will step down as chief. He has led the department through a number of major events in the city. John Lordson looks back on his career and talks with a man set to replace him. You have been more than a, a colleague. Um, you've been a, a true friend. Even while they work out their city budget differences, council members and Mayor Jacob Fry are on the same page when it comes to Fire Chief John Friedel. He's a strong leader that's invested in this department and building strong leaders well into the future. And his heart is just so big. Chief Friedel joined the department in March of 1979. He was an emergency response leader during the 35W bridge collapse. And his fire chief has guided the city through some of its most difficult moments. From the tragic Cedar Riverside fire last Thanksgiving to the Drake Hotel fire on Christmas Day and through the fires on Lake Street last spring, Friedel thanked his staff and his family for supporting him through it all. You know, I'd like to thank this council, this city, and most importantly, this mayor for finally giving me the opportunity to thank you all for letting me live my dream. Friedel spoke highly of the man set to replace him. Brian Tyner will go from assistant chief to the second black fire chief in the city's history. Mostly, uh, you know, joy, uh, excitement, and, uh, and uh, very humbled by this opportunity. Tyner says he hopes to continue what his predecessor built and respond to a city looking to heal. Well, it's been a lot of challenges that we've faced here uh, in the last uh, 12 months or so, but, um, you know, we have, uh, we have, you know, survived through it. Uh, I think we are well positioned uh, to be able to move forward. In Minneapolis, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Tyner grew up in North Minneapolis. He credits Chief Friedel with creating one of the most diverse administrations in the history of the fire department.